Welcome back to another edition of the Electrician 2 channel. Today, guys, I want to do a review on my newest uh, item that I purchased uh, for my home lab use. And uh, uh, some of you who have been uh, viewing, reviewing my, uh, viewing my, my previous videos, you know I'm, uh, I'm in the process of, store, of building a, my, my little hobby lab. And I'm, I'm constantly gathering up, uh, you know, devices and test instruments that I need for it. it. Well, I have all the test instruments I just about need for, for what I want to do. But uh, I've been gathering up other little things for to help me work uh, to the best of my ability. And uh, I got my soldering iron. I got my desoldering gun. Uh, I got several other little things. But this is my latest right here. This is a, a microscope. Uh, uh, a rework or soldering microscope by a, a company called Andenstar. Some of you may have heard it. Some of you may have not have heard it uh, about this company. But before I finish, guys, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you again. Uh, none of this. I'm, I'm doing this from the kindness of my heart. Uh, some of you may get something out of it. Some of you may not. But those of you who do, and this is your first time viewing the, uh, viewing the channel, I don't think I ask for, from you. Hit the like button, hit the, hit the subscribe, subscribe button to help support the channel. It's for free. Uh, I'm not asking for your money or anything like that. I just need you to help support the channel, man. Uh, if you got something out of this, if you don't, and you don't want it, well, I do understand that also. Uh, but, you know, just hit the like button. Leave a comment. I love to talk about tools. Or, you know, and also I'll leave a description of this and whatever else that I, uh, you know, review in this, in, in, in this video. In the description below this video but uh with all that out of the way i do appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and those of you who have hit the like button i really appreciate it man you know i appreciate the comments and all of that good stuff let's keep it real and keep it moving now with all that out of the way let's continue this is uh and then star and this the model number is ad 208 now uh i've seen a model uh, by Andy Star AD207. Uh, that's the one that uh, you can use. I mean, that has a seven inch screen, and that's the one you can use uh, with an HDMI cable to run it from the back of this one, this little display right here, onto the bottom of a television or a PC, something like that, you know, just to make the screen bigger. Well, I didn't need that. You know, I, I, I didn't need that. This is big enough for me. Uh, and this has an eight and a half inch screen. And uh, this is the Andenstar AD208 um, soldering or rework, rework microscope. And guys, let me tell you, this, the display, excellent. Take my word for it, guys. Clear, I don't know how clear it looks to you, but it's like looking at an iPad, an iPad. And uh, it is so clear. Right now, I'm looking at 1080 FHD, uh, and they have all kinds of features on here. Right now, uh, you can see this is how small this resistor is, and look how big it comes up on the screen. Now, on the screen, check this out. I'm going to lower it down some as far as it go to make it even bigger. But I'm going to focus it now after I do that. Now, move it out of the way. Refo re refocus this thing. Check that out, man. Now tell me that you don't have use for that. <laughs> that's 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 really nice. Uh, I mean, it also come with these two real bright LEDs right here, and plus the one that's underneath the microscope uh, attached to the microscope itself. Uh, you can do real-time recording. It has have time and date stamp right. That's right here. Uh, you can do. It has a microphone. You can do. Uh, but this one takes a, a SD cord, a mini SD cord. I think. Yeah, a mini SD cord. And uh, you can't connect it to the computer, but you can download it onto the SD cord and put that in the computer and save it or send it off whatever pictures you want to take. Uh, this has a lot of features on it. It has better resolution. Let me just show you some of the features on it. Uh, check this out. Now, uh, you, you can go through, and also, it comes with this, this remote right here. It's not wireless, 
it's, it's, it's attached to the screen and it's attached to this base to make these two LEDs right here come on. And it plugs into a USB cable right here. Just this plug right here. And uh, I just buy on plug, so, and it's hot as I don't know what, I don't know why. But anyway, damn. But uh, I'm about to check that out. But anyway, it plugs into that, and there you have it. Now, um, it has, you, can, you can scroll up and down, like you see it right here. You can adjust the focus right underneath here if, if you choose to. Now, the menu is right here where it's, it says it has like an M on this button here. And you hold it for a second or two. And this is all the feature. You get loop recording, exposure, uh, record audio, date, time, stamp. And you get 1080 F HD, uh, 1920 by 1080. You get 1080p. Uh, 1440 by 1080 and you get 720p uh, 1280 by 720 and you can if you hold it uh, there we go again and you got uh, date time your language frequency um, format default settings version and you get the date and all right here the, the year the month and the time and uh man this is i think it's packed i think it's i think it's it's packed um now um i like it the base is not big as i would have liked because if you get a real big a, a real big board uh circuit board well it's not real big but still if i put this under here it'll fit it'll fit now you know and it depends on what you're looking at yeah you can sort of the thing for me, if I'm soldering something on this board, I have to get used to looking at the screen while I have my hand down here, you know, uh, doing something down here. I have to, I have to be, uh, I have to get used to that. Now, for observation, you know, you troubleshooting, you could this this be real nice if you troubleshooting the board or certain seeing if any kind of if you uh, the board has any kind of fault on it. Somebody may have did some work before you got a hold to it and and put too much salt and I. Now I shorted out because some of the solder ran to another circuit. Yeah, it's good. It's good for all of that stuff too. But uh, I like it, man. I really do like it. I am pleased with it 100%. Uh, so something else I want to show you. Oh, and also you right here, I think you can dim it. Or you could make it look brighter. I like mine bright like that. Also, if you decide to, let me see. Let me see how I can do this. I'm trying to show you something here. Okay, I'm gonna just use this here. If that's the, if if you don't like the black uh, base right here, get your white piece of paper. Uh, you can put that on, for example, like this is white, and you put that. It might show up. Let me see. And you can. Uh, And make it show up like that. If some of you like it, you know that's if that's better for you. With a white, with a white background, you know, uh, either or uh, works. But this works for me also, so that's that's fine at the for the moment. So, but uh, this is a real, really nice um, device. And I'm planning on using it a lot, a lot. So, so guys, I just wanted to uh, let you guys hit with, and uh, check this out, this little small circuit board right here. This is something else I want to show you. Oh, and these two things right here for if you just want to, I guess, you know, kind of, kind of hold hold something down from moving. It would have been better if they had pushed it back some more. They would have gave you more room. You know, this don't have to be here. This this is a, an accessory that came with it, and I just put them on there because I never know when I'm gonna have to use it. But they are, if they if they ever get in the way, I can always probably turn them out of the way, or just take them completely off, you know. But right now they're not in the way because I'm not really doing anything with the board. Now this is uh, check this board out right here, guys. Now that's really nice. Now I'm, I'm gonna go up with it some more. I'm gonna go up with it, and then I'm gonna focus it. Focus. It's really nice. And how about I put some shine? Well, sometimes it could be too much shine on it uh, for us to light. But whatever works for you, you know, you can have it 
they may be just right. I've just got them on because I wanted to show you how it looks. And that looks darn good. Really good. So, and uh, it comes with this, even I think, even this tilts back some. Just in case if you, let me see, can I get this back right here? Hold on a minute. I don't have my darn wrench on me. But anyway, it takes a little wrench right here. Put this nut right here, and you can kind of lean it back if you want to and have it. Even if the screen tilts, if you depends on how you're sitting above it, you know, in front of it, it tilts like that. You can, you know, you know, you can turn it however way you want. I like that. Uh, but it's a real nice, this is a real nice piece. I am glad that I bought it and, you know, this is out of my pocket because this is something that I wanted. So, guys, uh, if you're into this kind of thing, and, uh, you know, some of you, I'm sure, have known about this. I, I've just not seen it. I've been looking for a microscope, uh, but I didn't know this was out here. I've I, I seen some big ones before. And um, I don't know if I, I – I just don't have the room. I told you already that what I'm trying to do, I want my, my little hobby lab to be – with a lot of miniature stuff, basically. And I don't mean tiny stuff, but, you know, I want some more. I don't want to be like the big boys with, with you know, $100,000 worth of equipment in the lab. I, no, I'm not looking for that. I just want a little, um, uh, you know, functionable, functionable for me. Now, uh, I want to show you all something else while I'm while, while we're talking. That, that another one of my toys that I, that I just recently purchased for my uh, lab is this. Some of you may have seen this before. This is by a company called Tula, Two Two Hour or Two Lower. It's spelled T O O L O U R. How would you pronounce it? It's on you, but that's how it's spelled. And um, I bought this also from uh, Amazon. This is, this is metal. This whole thing is metal, and these are magnetic. Now this is for check out the little points on the tip, on the on the front. That's for this is a rework board. Uh, you're working on a soldering a soldering board. Uh, if you're soldering something on your uh, circuit board, uh, let me get this board back out again and show you what I'm talking about. These little points that's on the top are for these are holes right here. If you're working on this board, and let's do this. There we go. There we go. Check that now. Check that out, guys. If you're working on that board, you're soldering something on this board right here. Uh, that's nice. It won't even move. It won't even move. Um, look how it just sits on there. It won't even move. You can turn it. You can flip it. If you're desoldering stuff on the other side, you can flip it. And you got enough room where I'm thinking that you can have, you know, if you have big components, it won't even touch the board. You have to be, have to be super big for you um uh, to touch the board, and if it's that big, you may have to get you one of those uh, vices uh, for PC for, for the whole PCB devices. But this works nice for me. This will go exactly go with this for me. So um, I just I, I just want to show you guys um, my two little my newest uh, my newest purchases for my uh, lab. And guys, don't get it wrong. This is not just for uh, 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 electronic technicians. This is for electricians, too, because I tell you, you're going to be working on something like this in the future. Don't get caught up with just electrician deal with fuses and pulling wire and things like that. Don't close your mind. I'm telling you, because you're going to get left behind, y'all. You're going to get left behind. You want to get yourself together. And if nobody else don't want to teach you, learn on your own. Get you by yourself some equipment. Go in your house in your spare time, man. Uh, get your cup of coffee or whatever you drink. Sit down and get your old circuit board. You know, find out what each one of these parts mean. I mean, what they are, the, ter uh, the terminology of each part, what it does. You know, and learn. That's part of your schooling. And, you know, be part of the it crowd on your job. Or if you work for yourself, be part of the it crowd 
of your company among all the other elites who have good companies out there. Uh, so uh, with that being said, I don't want to hold you guys much longer. I just want to I just wanted to show you guys my uh, my newest addition to um, my electrical electronic hobby lab. Uh, so I want to thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment. And uh, until next time, guys, you take care. And as always, peace out.